Hey, what is going on everyone? Thank you for stopping by to watch another episode here at All I See Is W. Well, today I wanted to create this video to share with you insights on specific stock companies where I'll be sharing with you stock news updates, future forecasting, and my fundamental and technical analysis on these several companies that I think will have success, whether that be in the short or long term. Let's get started. First ticker I wanted to share with you is a company called Sky Bioscience, ticker SKYE. What's so unique about Sky Bioscience? Well, I really like the patented technology with Sky Bioscience where it really positions itself to be a very unique biotech company that's focused on advancing medical unmet needs in the glaucoma space, specifically to ocular disease with its naturally derived drug called THC VHS intended for glaucoma patients with hypertension in the eye. Its data from preclinical trials has demonstrated that not only does it demonstrate far superior results in reducing IOP levels compared to commercially available drugs, but it also can potentially provide neuroprotection we know that neuroprotection data will likely be coming very soon. And we know that come October 12th, we shall hear more data on the company's R&D initiatives as well as its business strategy in terms of tapping into human clinical trials for its first human dose, which is gonna be a huge milestone getting into phase one clinical trials to demonstrate safety and efficacy with its THC VHS program. And we know that it also has CBD VHS and that drug can potentially be used for many indications for use. And it'll be exciting to see how the company will be sharing that data. Now, from a share price standpoint, in terms of technical analysis, we know that in week one of June, the share price shot up all the way to 26 cents without news. So that alone, you know that this company, even without news, it can just run up because when you have a big time whale buying lots and lots accumulation of shares, then the ticker share price can run up. We know that just recently that the company had offered about 44 million shares to gain $7 million in equity where now the company has about $7 million in assets and this will be used to focus on building its infrastructure for R&D initiatives as well as potential mergers and acquisitions. And it's great to see Sky hiring a new chief scientific officer who has experience in the finance realm and that will allow for the company to start building onto its share price from my takeaway and also a new head of regulatory and quality with 25 years of experience working with the Food and Drug Administration, Therapeutics Good Administration in Australia. And I'm forecasting that while the share price is at nine cents, we shall see the reverse trend happen and the relative strength index, the RSI from a technical standpoint, it's down below like at 20 range right now. And anytime when the RSI is below 20, that's when it's been oversold and that's when people are afraid. And when people are afraid, that's when you wanna be greedy and capitalize on accumulating more shares. From a share price standpoint, there's no reason for it not to reach its prior resistance up to the 26 cents. I believe that once it matches and hits around 18 cents, we shall start seeing the stair climber. It's not a matter of if, but a matter of when, because once we have the news on its human clinical trials data from phase one, once we see it tap into phase two clinical trials, which will take place in early 2022, then we shall see more news on the IND submissions with the Food and Drug Administration. And from a share price standpoint, this company will be headed towards the $1 range getting into the year 2022. So that's my takeaway with Sky Bioscience and let's continue to have faith and remember that 
when the storm comes, we will see daylight and it's just a matter of remaining patient and resilient. So that's my key takeaway for you. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is Santo Mining, ticker SAMP. What's so unique about SAMP, right? Well, while the coin, Bitcoin is getting up to the 50,000 range, we see a correlation with companies like Santos actually increasing its share price value. This ticker actually previously peaked at the resistance level close to two cents, and it hovered down to the triple levels. Now, looking at the actual share price, we see it creeping back up slowly, but surely. I mean, in the prior week, we saw it run up to like 20, 30%. However, on Friday, it began to go back down on the downward trajectory. But based on just with news that the company had just recently announced it is OTC pink compliant. So that means that SANP, Santo Mining, is part of the legit OTC stocks because we know that there's going to be a number of OTC stocks that have not made it on the list of being validated OTC pink compliant. And those companies are going to be just wiped off the map and investors in OTC will start flowing, adding their money into companies similar to like Sky Bioscience, Santo Mining, and other tickers I'll be sharing with you shortly. But this is very good news because now, I mean, SAMP is gaining credibility, the trust, and we know that it recently just sold about 35 NFTs recently on the market. So that just tells you that Santo Mining, I mean, their management team, they're focused on adding value, building infrastructure. And the CEO, I mean, he's going to be making some business deals in Panama. And when you look at Cardano making partnerships with Africa, I mean, Santo Mining is following that similar trajectory. And from a share price standpoint, this ticker can definitely run up to five cents by the end of the year. But for sure in 2022, we'll see those numbers be hit because I don't think this is a if type of approach. I mean, I think it's more of a when and with its programmers from Vietnam, I just have firm belief that they will continue to add value for the CEO with the developers they have to really streamline the visibility of uh, purchasing and providing uh, data at a level where it's fair and accurate. So that's with Santo Mining. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is iBio. I know most of you have been watching my videos on iBio just to get updates and to see the potential in this company. From a business standpoint, I value iBio because this is a plant-based company that is focused on adding value in fibrosis, swine flu, oncology, and they're focused on developing plant-based vaccines for the COVID-19. We know COVID-19 mutated strains are not going away. We know these viruses will be an area of concern for many years, decades. So companies that can differentiate itself and in the long term gain approval from health authorities, that will mean that companies will gain market share. And how are they going to generate value and money? It's going to come based off of quality. And once the company is able to cross through the regulatory hurdles, I firmly believe that that's when the share price will be reflected um, and we'll see the value of bio, iBio increase in the long run. Now, from a share price standpoint, while we see that the share price had gone below the $1 threshold, that will allow for investors to dollar cost average because I firmly believe, you know, when you apply the dollar cost average, you will gain in the long term because as you maximize quantity of shares with iBuy, I firmly believe that in the long run, this ticker can definitely reach double digit share price range if you hold it long term. And it's not a matter of with because I firmly believe that with this business strategy in place led by CEO Tom Isett, who previously came from large scale companies, I do have high conviction that iBio will take off in the long run. So uh, it's not about time in the market. It's just if you continue to buy and hold and you maximize quantity of shares, you'll be all right in this type of company in the biotech sector. And let alone, I mean, iBio has branched out from its headquarter from 
Texas all the way to San Diego, the central hub of innovation for biotech. So that's all good news. So let's say if you are an investor of iBio, I would say just hold on tight, similar to what I'm doing. And I hope that it will continue to run. Now, next ticker, the last ticker I wanted to share with you is Interscope Hearing Technologies, INND. While we see the share price going sub one penny, I firmly believe that it can reach up to its prior resistance going up to like nine cents from back in February. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And we know that when you play with OTC stocks, you definitely have to be patient because while it can run up significantly, it can drop significantly as well. That's just the name of the game. But while you play with high risk companies like Interscope Hearing Technologies, you can gain on high rewards, right? I mean, that's the nature of the beast. I mean, when you play with high risk companies, you know that you can hit the jackpot with these type of companies. And I know that this company will continue to scale up its business infrastructure in terms of developing and manufacturing hearing aids. And I know that hearing problems won't go away because it will exponentially increase. And that's why I have my money parked in companies like Sky Bioscience advancing how patients will continue to see and in companies where they're advancing medical net needs to allow people to hear better. That's why I firmly believe in these type of companies. And from a share price standpoint, it's definitely undervalued. And I have high conviction that come Q4, headway into 2022, that IND, Interscope Hearing Technologies, will start gaining traction. We know that this company, I mean, recently in the prior months, it became OTC Pink compliant. So that's huge news. We know that it's on Amazon and Walmart for selling of its product. Its product delivers high quality service to patients in need for hearing and it's half the cost so it really helps and it cuts away the middleman and we know that kiosks are being rolled out in grocery stores in areas that can be accessible for the consumer market to evaluate their hearing performance and they're also on tv media news such as fox news so the company is doing well in terms of marketing and it's also broadcasting itself on Times Square. I mean, what else can I say, right? I mean, it's just a matter of just remaining patient, maximizing quantity of shares, because I do think that it will run back up, back to its prior resistance, if not beyond that. So overall, I just wanted to share with you my key takeaways for Sunday. And let's say if you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe for more related content. Thank you so much for all of you who supported this channel. I really appreciate it. And let's all have a beautiful week ahead of us. Thank you. Have a great day, y'all. Goodbye.